at the University of Oregon. It's great to talk to you. Uh, thank you for the contact. And, uh, and uh, this is Colonel Doug Wheelock aboard the International Space Station on behalf of our crew, uh, three U.S. Uh, NASA astronauts and three Russian cosmonauts. Uh, we send you greetings at 73. Okay, well, I think all systems are go. Uh, this is 15 September 2010. It's Wednesday, Pacific Northwest, Portland, Oregon. If you want to check the grid, it is CN850M. And it is coming up close on 2035 UTC. And I'm hopefully going to listen in on the ISS path. Today they've got a nice high angle pass. They're going to be at 78 degrees at the maximum um, altitude. So let's see what happens today. At the end of this, I'm going to turn the camera around and have you take a look at my computer so you can take a look at the issfanclub.com website and you can see how I use that to uh, predict these passes and listen in. November Alpha 1, Sierra Sierra, Kilo Foxtrot 7, Echo Tango X-Ray. November Alpha 1, Sierra Sierra, Kilo Foxtrot 7, Echo Tango X-Ray, Portland. Kilo Foxtrot 7, Echo Tango, X-Ray. At Kilo 6, MEU, uh, great talking to you today, 73 to you. Kilo Foxtrot 7, Echo Tango, X-Ray. Kilo Foxtrot 7, Echo Tango, X-Ray. Kilo Foxtrot 7 Echo Tango X-Ray. Kilo Delta 7 Bravo Uniform Juliet, loud clear, welcome aboard the space station, November Alpha 1 Sierra Sierra. Kilo Foxtrot 7 Echo Tango X-Ray. Kilo Fox 7 Echo Tango X-Ray, loud clear, welcome aboard, November Alpha 1 Sierra Sierra, the International Space Station. Got him again. So right now it's uh, 2040 UTC. I copied six Zulu, Oregon, uh, Mr. Rest, but this is November Alpha 1 Sierra Sierra, the International Space Station, over.
We've got three more minutes on this pass, hopefully. Okay, uh, Captain Kirk, uh, Whiskey India 6 Zulu and Eugene, Oregon. We've got you loud and clear. Uh, Kirk, uh, this is Colonel Doug Wheelock aboard the International Space Station. Uh, we have you loud and clear. November off of 1 Sierra Sierra. Totally cool listening to this. All right, well, we lost him, but uh, got him again. And we got to listen to a few extra contacts, including, um, you'll notice at the very beginning of that, uh, that was the closure of a contact with a school that was being facilitated uh, by a ham radio operator. So awesome, awesome, totally cool to listen to those guys. And I'm still going to keep working at it. So that was another contact with the International Space Station. You were listening to Colonel Doug Wheelock and he is operating the amateur radio station on board the International Space Station, and their call sign is November Alpha 1 Sierra Sierra. All right, this is David in Portland, Oregon, KF7 ETX on YouTube, USNER. Right, well, this was the pass that we just listened to, and uh, again, the website that I like to use for this is issfanclub.com, internationalspacestationfanclub.com, and I just uh, go to their tracking button right up in the menu there. You can see I'm signed in as a user, KF7ETX. Very easy to make an account. You do not need to be an amateur radio operator or have a license to use this site. Um, I use this um, particular page to give me the tracking data for that particular pass. So it gives me the date the UTC for the beginning of the pass, the ending of the pass. It also gives me the azimuth, and that is the compass point on which the pass will start and end on. And it also gives you the elevation as the um, space station starts its path. It'll have a certain elevation off the horizon. And this is a fairly high angle pass. You can see at the height, it got to be 78 degrees above horizon at the azimuth of 30, of, I'm sorry, azimuth of 351 degrees. It also gives you the lat long um, uh, data and um, whether it's visible or not. So I print that off and have it uh, sitting there uh, by my workstation. And um, that was the pass that we just watched. Now, if you keep an eye right here, and you'll notice that moving. That is where the space station is right now. So they're just coming off the east coast up by uh, Nova Scotia. And you can see these big circles that make up the path. That gives you the footprint of the radio reception as the space station is making its pass. Let's pick a different pass and you can take a look and see what that looks like. So I just go down here and select right here another pass, go live, and this gives you another view of the Earth out on a map. You can see my location right there, the typical Google uh, push pin, and there is the space station making her way just off the east coast of uh, North America, just right around uh, Nova Scotia there. And you can see how big that radio footprint is. And you heard uh, midway through that pass, Colonel Wheelock was uh, talking to a station in Wyoming, uh, which was kind of cool. Now, what this does is this will give me um, 10 passes, 
and every day I just kind of log in and I pick a pass. I try and figure out what the crew work schedule is going to be, recognizing that they're going to be operating on their off hours. So we just listened in on the uh, 2034 UTC. Let's click down here for the 2210 UTC. So that would be about uh, 10 o'clock in the evening, 10 minutes after 10 in the evening on the space station. They operate on the universal uh, time uh, parameters. So there's another pass right there. That will be at 2210 through 2219. It will be a rather low angle pass. At the maximum it's going to be 25 degrees off the horizon. And um, is that worthwhile to listen into? Absolutely. And I will be listening in and hopefully we'll catch the space station as they make another pass. I'm trying to get a few more contacts with them because honestly this is very exciting stuff if you're an amateur radio operator. Anyway, 73 to all of you and thanks for tuning in. This is USNER Doc out.